We often hear about the mustard seed in the Bible. We hear about have faith the size of a mustard seed. We also see in another portion of the Bible where uh, scripture says in Luke chapter 13 verse 18 onwards, what is the kingdom of God like? That means the mustard seed is likened to the kingdom of God. And to what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed which a man took, put it in his garden and it grew and became a large tree and the birds of the air nested in its branches. That means he's saying is the, the kingdom of God is likened to a mustard seed. A mustard seed is small. But it's planted and it becomes a big tree. Okay, it becomes a big bush. And in that, the, the birds of the air nest, are nested. So what we see is the power of the kingdom of God. How God works. He may be, he, when he begins his work, it may seem small. But the potential of what he can do is amazingly big. Sometimes we look at the small things that God is doing in our life and we just count it as nothing. But I want to tell you, God begins with small things and makes it huge. When we look at the first church and the Acts of the Apostles, there were only 120 people in the upper room. Only 120. But when we look at how the church has grown today, it is millions of people. It started small, but began huge, became big. When we look at the life of Joseph in the Old Testament, he was just, a, he was just one man. But through this one man, a small, insignificant man, sold as a slave, put into prison. But he brought, he brought about salvation for the people of Israel. He brought about salvation for the people of Egypt. Because of his wisdom and his direction, we see how the whole land of Egypt was saved from famine. We see how because of his direction and wisdom, the people of Israel, his own very people, were brought and saved in the time of famine. God's kingdom starts small in our lives. When God touches you, it may be a small spark, but as you keep pressing on in Him, it has got the potential to, to, to impact you and the people around you in a big way. When you look further into the scripture in verse, in verse 20, He says, To what shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, it's like yeast, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal or flour till it was all leaven. It's a small portion of leaven, a small portion of yeast, put into flour, put into dough, pressed and kept aside, and it leavens or it puffs up the entire dough. Small portion, but impacts that entire dough. Today, I want to tell you, maybe God is working small things, small things. It may seem insignificant to you, but I tell you, be faithful in those small things because God will start making it big anytime. Be faithful, keep pressing on in what you are doing, faithfully do it. And I tell you, you are going to grow beyond your imagination. Just like that small mustard seed, small, but becomes into a big tree, a bush tree. A small portion of yeast puffs up the entire dough, small, insignificant. I want to tell you today, the kingdom of God is just like that yeast, just like that mustard seed. It's going to become big in your life. You are going to grow beyond your, beyond your imagination if you let that kingdom birth in you, if you let God begin His work in you. God's going to do big things, but it will, all, it will always begin small. And that's why once again I say, be faithful in the little and more will be added into your life. God bless you.